zippity doo -dah. beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. As you can see behind me, I'm filming today's video here at the Contemporary Resort here on Walt Disney World. Now the title is of today's video is kind of an interesting title, uh, but that is, have you ever seen a rich man married to an ugly wife? A rich man will, will generally never marry an ugly wife, and the reason is because he knows how to sell. And the art of of attraction, the art of seduction has a lot in common with the same type of principles and, and influential behaviors that we use when we're selling products and services. Now generally if you do see a rich man married to an ugly wife, the reason for that is either she knew how to sell him, uh, and maybe he was the good looking one and maybe she knew how to sell him, or that, that uh, he, he married her before he started developing these these uh, uh, you know these these selling principles and, and how to influence people now one thing I also want to say is there is a big difference between selling and becoming influential and uh, deceiving somebody big difference you know we want to become people of influence uh, you want your kids to lis listen to and obey you right so you in order to do that you have to become a person of influence so what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about word of mouth advertising. And really, in the most case, for, for most businesses, most businesses look at word of mouth advertising as it's a bonus. You know, they, they, they think that, that, and that's really what it is, they think that they can do it, um, but, uh, you know, it, for, for most businesses, it is a bonus. It is unpredictable. We need to, uh, just like anything else in our business, one of the things that we may have talked about in some of our previous videos, and that is that 97% that, that of businesses fail. However, the businesses that have marketing systems, 95% uh, uh, of them succeed, right? So we, when it comes down to advertising uh, and word of mouth advertising, we want to have what we call as a word of mouth marketing system because your word of mouth advertising should be trackable you should know how many you know you should know exactly how many referrals how many sales how many of those that you're going to get on a daily on a daily weekly monthly and yearly basis okay so uh, again for most businesses they they treat that word of mouth advertising is a bonus and uh, and they think that just providing a good quality service will get people to talk about them well, there's a lot of businesses that have a good quality of service. Uh, again, here I'm, I'm here at uh, uh, Walt Disney World here. I live just a couple of miles away from here. But one of the things that Walt Disney said is if you're boring, you can't expect anybody to talk about you. So the thing that most people are doing is they're doing the exact same thing that everybody else is doing. Everybody has a good service for the most part. If, you're, if you don't have a ser good service, then you're not doing what's even required of you. So you have to go beyond that. You have to do something. But uh, again, Walt Disney said, if you're boring, uh, you can't expect anybody to talk about you. So you know, providing a good quality service is boring. It's standard. It's status quo. Everybody is doing that. So you need to stand out and you need to do things in order to motivate people and get them to refer you, re refer their contacts and the people that they know over to you. Now, here's another thing. The average person knows 200 people. They know 200 people. However, the average person will eventually talk to about five people uh, on the other hand if they're upset and that's if they like you if they like you if you did something to upset them they're gonna go tell a whole bunch of people I've heard some numbers anywhere from about 10 to 30 people that they're gonna tell if they don't like you so again doing a good job isn't enough we have to do something else so we have to have what is called as as, as a, a word of mouth marking system so as we go here uh, throughout this next series of videos, we're going to talk about what some of those things are, how we can influence people, how we can, uh, how we can become a good at sales, and how we can get them and motivate them to refer us to their contacts. And even if it's not to their contacts, because uh, word of mouth advertising without the internet really falls short. So you're also going to see how you can get your business and, and your messages to go viral. And, uh, and that's basically word of mouth advertising on steroids. But I do hope this information was helpful again. I had a blast filming this video for you here today. Hopefully you get to come out here and spend some time with us and, and you know, just enjoy some times out here with us. But uh, take care everyone, have a great day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye bye now. Now I hope this information has been helpful. If you, hey, I wanna invite you to order our free DVD. 
Now on that DVD, you will discover how to use the money that your competition is spending in advertising and how you can use that to get more business for yourself. Now the first time that I did this, one of my competitors was spending $100,000 a month in advertising. And I used that money to be able to get 141 sales for myself in the very first six hours that I did this. And I'll show you how you can go ahead and do the same thing as well. Now next you'll see how to harness the spending power of your customers who are spending money with other businesses and how you can use that to make 10 or 20 times more profits from your already existing customer base. So you have customers and those customers are buying things from other businesses, right? So we'll show you how to make money when your customers are buying from other local businesses or perhaps even online and that will enable you to make 10 to 20 times more profits from your already existing customer base. Then we'll reveal the secrets of what companies like Apple, Disney, McDonald's do to never pay out of pocket for their business expenses ever again and how you can go ahead and do the same thing. Then you'll see how to get companies to pay you in order for you to advertise your business and much, much, much more. So if you're on our website, if you look down below directly underneath this video, you'll find a little link that you can click on to order your free DVD. Otherwise, go visit freedvd.prostarprofits.com. Again, that's freedvd.prostarprofits.com. Again, I hope this information has been helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.